His best moves have come off the court, showing more style than basketball substance. Dwayne Shintis is making his mark for his hair, his humor, and the ability to dish out a good sound bite. This time it was a little slow. I just uh, concentrated mostly on basketball. I mean, that's, that's really what I am. I'm not an actor, but uh, I play one on TV. Dwayne Shintis' personality is made for TV. He is outgoing, well-spoken, and comes without a big ego. As for his game, well, let's just say it's not quite ready for prime time. Shintis has shown flashes of brilliance, but he is still very much a work in progress. He's a project. He's down the road. Seven foot three. Uh, catches the ball, passes the ball, shoots the ball. Uh, doesn't have the condition to play right now. Is a project in terms of we're looking him more for the following year where we can spend the summer working with him. But if he gives us some things this year, it would be great and it would certainly speed up the process. The process of developing from college All-American to all-round player in the NBA has been agonizingly slow and painful for Shinsis. Surgeries to his back and ankle forced him to miss more than 100 games in his first seven years. With his age rising and body breaking down, he knows the window of opportunity is closing fast. I play with more of a sense of urgency now because I, I feel like I've just wasted, not wasted, but really haven't gotten the most out of what Dwayne Shenzhen is capable of doing. That's why I really took the year and a half off and just let my body heal up and my mind heal up. And I think you guys will see a different player this year. I really understand the game a lot more like uh, you're supposed to do with maturity and you get a little bit older. I'm 30 now and this will be my eighth year in the NBA. So, you know, I'm just ready to rock and roll. Shintz's role on this team will depend on his health and continued development. Rick Pitino is pushing the big man to raise his game and Shintz has got the message that he'll only do it by outworking everyone. He said just come in and work hard every day, which is what I told him that I would do when I came here. And he just wants me to just get in game shape. It's going to take me some time to get the ring rust off, but you know, I think that they saw something or they wouldn't have, have wanted me in here, you know, as part of the Celtics. And, you know, what I can give them is, is a big body, rebounding, block some shots, uh, play good defense. And, you know, when they give me the ball, I know what to do with it, and that's try to score. With his imposing size and bleach blonde hair, Shintis is Ivan Drago in high tops. He enjoys comparisons to the fictional Russian boxer and does a pretty good impression of him, which in a roundabout way, landed him a role in a major motion picture. I was in a movie uh, back in 95 with Whoopi Goldberg called Eddie, and I played Ivan Radovadovich. If not, look down low for Ivan. Ivan. Whatever. Ivan Mikbas. Good, yes. That's the voice I've used. Everybody said I looked like Ivan Drago from when I was like a little kid or whatever, whenever that movie came out. And uh, that's the voice that I kind of used. I stuck with it, and I went in there and used that voice, and I got the part. Ivan Mikbasket.